Hello, welcome to episode number 23 of the Stephen Gerrard Rebuild, and in today's episode, as you saw in the last episode, there's a few jobs going that we're interested in, but it is the transfer special, and, you know, we need to make a big transfer, and that is to find a better job, and Stephen Gerrard, Liverpool legend, I think this job's quite interesting, the Liverpool job. We've been given an interview, and that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, glad you've given me the chance to talk. Can you handle managing a team to so close to your heart? Might the emotional attachment of being a fan be too much? Um, I have a passion and admiration for this club. I can bring all of that and more to the table. Can you ease your concerns that you've never managed in this country before? Um, I think the fact that I have experience in various other countries should hopefully make up for the fact that I've not worked here yet. Have you ever managed a club of our stature? Having never managed a club of our stature and reputation, are you able to make a convincing case as to why that should be overlooked? that and you should be hired. I can't read, can I, today? Um, I spent the majority of my career building up considerable experience with smaller clubs in preparation for the opportunity to get a chance at a bigger club like you, Liverpool, because you are just, I just love Liverpool so much. And I hope to get a chance here. Why are you thinking of making what some people would describe a sideways move in management? What the actual hell? This is not a sideways move, this is a move up. Uh, of course, there's many differences between two teams. No concern about making such a switch. You've developed a reputation for applying for jobs. While still employed, what's all that about? Uh, there might have been a times where I lacked professionalism, but I've learned from those mistakes. You're up for a few jobs. Uh, uh, oh yeah, please. I will actually well withdraw everything. Come on. Um, the club would be looking for a candidate capable of performing to competition expectations, something that our last manager didn't. Are you confident of handling better than your predecessor? Well, the previous manager. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I do know who he is, though. I just can't say it begins with an I. He came sixth last time. But he did win the uh, Carabao Cup last season and got to the semi-finals of the Champions League or Liverpool. He had a semi... Yeah, yeah. But he also came sixth in the Premier League, which was not very good. So I'm just saying, we will definitely do better. Yep. I'm happy to work with Paul Mitchell. Don't need any changes, don't plan on making any changes. Mm, looks fine. Yeah. Win, win the Europa League easy. Win the Premier League, sure. I can do that. Yep, they all sound fine. Yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah, no, I am good, thank you. So now it's just a race against time to get this job, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you if I get any if any answer back off them. Luke, Liverpool approached Gerard Luke, we've been given the offer. Oh my god, they've got a massive transfer budget as well. And wage budget. I, I can spend as much money as I want. How much are they offering? 100k a week as well. Oh my god. You can stuff it. You can stuff it, Girona. Go away. Bye. That sounded a bit disrespectful, didn't it? But yeah, I'm sorry, Girona. I love you. love you to bits, but unfortunately, Liverpool is my club, and I am joining them. Uh, yep, that all seems fine. Could I do a four-year contract? Okay, three years, that's fine. Because we, Steven Gerrard, is the new manager of Liverpool. The, boy the boyhood dream is now a reality. We have a chance to 
further increase our stature at the club. It uh, looks like we're going to have to get a new assistant manager though. So yeah. As you can see we've got a full trophy cabinet. We've won a couple Premier League titles since the start of the save. Um, we've won anything else. We've won the FA Cup three times as well. Won the Carabao Cup once. And the Community Shield once. Get in there. I'm absolutely um, well happy to have landed this job. And this is what the team looks like. Yeah, there's definitely a few areas where we could improve. But I'd have to look at it a bit more to find out. Because just looking at names is not enough. Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Okay. You will sort that all out after, don't you worry. Don't you worry, my friend. Because this is the team we have got in front of us. Them are the goalkeepers. We've still got Allison and uh, Callagher, which is good. But we could definitely do with a younger goalkeeper coming in. Because Allison's 34 and he ain't getting any younger. So yeah. Centre backs, we've got three centre backs. That's a bit concerning. So we might need another one. This guy seems good though. We could sell him, we've got to make a lot of money. Uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, still got him in right back. Uh, Calvin Ramsey as well, he can play right back, but he isn't as good as he should be, in my opinion. Uh, Stefan as well, got him still. Joe Gomez, he's still at the club. Tismikas, Robertson and left back, play there. But we've got uh, Marmel, who uh, looks like the main player for left back. Very good player there. In midfield, we've got a very nice midfield still. We've got uh, Wharton. He looks decent. You see how this club set up for success it is. It's, uh, it's, Lang uh, it's Subozlai as well. Curtis Jones as well. So yeah, this team's all in one piece still. Still got Mo Salah. Although he's looking to be at the end of his career now. Cody Gakpo as well. Victor Osherman. He looks like the biggest uh, player at the club and he's only 28. Darwin Nunes, still at the club, he's got massive um, money. So yeah, this team looks amazing still. I don't know where I'm going to improve, I don't have any ideas. Let's have a look at what youth players have got. So a stop liability. Pinkton, Ben Dirk still at the club, yeah, so they've got quite a few good young players as well still. I think we're set up for success right here. And I'm very happy to start this, so... Let's get into some transfers, I guess, because it's the only thing we need to do. So, yeah. And, of course, we'll keep an eye on to see who gets the Girona job. And, like, as you can see, they did come sick for in the Europa League. This time out. They're only three points away from getting Champions League football. But, of course, sick isn't very good when last time. Oh no, I'm not on the right screen. And they literally won the league the year before. So yeah. And that's exactly what I'm planning on doing in the first season, is winning the league. Because this team's set up as it's set up for me. There's not much I can do with my money to make this team better. But I mean, first, I say uh, think of a tactic then. So I'll see you. When I've made some business. Okay, so now we're here for the Southampton game. But first, we have a bit of transfer business to tell you about. So then, let me just remember how I get to that. Transfer history, there we go. So then, there's been a lot of business. Let's start off with the outs. Of course, Tismikas has left for 31.5 million, which could go to 42 million. You know... I wasn't going to use him, I had no plans for him, so I just thought, you know, that was a good offer. 
to get rid of him. And then Diogo Jota, he was already leaving the club anyway when I joined. It was it already arranged. Connor Bradley, we let him go. Yeah, he's not really lived up to his potential. Endo, he's left for free. Let's get him off the wage bill. Steven Amphoy, he also left for free. Sent a couple of players out on loan, including Graben Bitch and Lacrosse, who have um, future transfer fees. And then, oh, we sold one of the youth players, well, two of the youth players as well. Oh, why do I keep clicking on them? But then that brings us in to the big transfer news. Stop clicking on stuff. We signed Oscar from Girona. You all know him from when we were at Girona. Excellent player with good potential. And he did. He ripped absolutely up it for Girona. But of course we loaned him out to Coventry for a year because this is not quite quite good enough for the Liverpool squad at the moment or maybe next season after he's had his loan. And then for 80 million we signed Christian Moscaretta. Decent young player, 32 years old. A very high rating as well. Some decent stats as well, like 16 headering. Try to get him up there for corners. And then another familiar face from the first season at Girona. We had him in on loan. We signed a Kendrick Pass. He's a great player. And I've always wanted to sign him for Girona, but he was just too expensive. So I thought I'd bring him here for 155 million. It's quite a bit, that is. But, you know, it will be worth it, I promise. And then uh, we signed Dennis Seaman for 77 million. Yeah, he's got good potential, and Allison isn't going to be around forever. He's 34 now, Allison is. And he, he is looking to move away from the club. So we signed in uh, Dennis Seaman, who's a, a really good player. Yeah. So then that's all the transfer business we've gotten up to yet. And we've still got a decent. Uh, amount left in the bank in case we do see anyone and yeah if you're wondering how I got all of this transfers done it's all installments that's how so then this is the squad we're going out with of course we've got Allison in goal Robertson at left back uh, Bonnie Noro and uh, Canate centre back Mosquera and right back Trent in midfield, Wharton also in midfield, Sabozlai on the left, McAllister um, in attacking midfield, Salah on the right, and Osterman up front. So then, let's get into it. Yeah, I thought I'd trial Trent in the midfield. Because he'd be better than whoever else I'd put there. Like an Elliot or a Jones. So then, let's see if we win this game. Right, Robertson now. To send it in from the corner. Oh, and it's over. It's over the post. It's a close one. Okay. The goal kick. He sends it out for... Uh-oh. Alcaraz has a chance for Southampton. He takes his shot and he's saved by Allison. Some great work there. Okay, Dale with the corner. Mosquera sends it out. Great work there. Trent with the corner it sends it in Canate oh he's saved by the keeper but the rebound from Christian Mokotera scores but it will be looked at by VAR yeah so yes, the goal's been awarded great work there Alright then.
Trent Alexander Arnold now. Back to Canate. Now to Mo Salah. Back to Canate. Oh yeah, I never showed you this hat too, did I? Oh, well, it's a game compressor. It, no, not a game compressor, sorry. A tiki taka. 4 2 3 1. That it, it is. Alright, Wharton. Right. Bruno! Oh, Germain! Come on! Get in there! Defensive error by Southampton. But great work there by Osherman, who was in the right place at the right time to get a fantastic goal to put the game 2 0 up. At least we're not on extended highlights because I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, no, on key highlights still. Great. Because, you know, I need to get ready for work. Robertson now. To send it in. Wharton. I should have probably controlled that the first time. And then passed it instead of header in. But Trent. He's looking for a nice pass. Moscatera. Canate. Trent now on the ball. Mo Salah. Mo Salah's going to try to find someone. But he can't find anybody in the box. Trent. Wharton, will he shoot from range? No, he'll pass to Sabozlai, who's in the box. He'll take the pass to Osherman, whose shot is blocked. Right, this Bunagora now. To Robertson, McAllister, Mo Salah. Oh, was if that was a shot, that was terrible. But no, it was it wasn't shot, and it was deflected off. So it makes sense. Trent now on the ball. Canate, I must spill me tea. Robertson to Sanditon. Canate, he's controlling it in the box. He'll pass to Walton, who's also in the box. He'll send a cross in. It's cleared out by Gamara, but only to Pascatera. Trent now on the ball. Muscatera. Wharton! That was an incredible shot. It just was a bit too high. It would have been a lovely goal, that would have. McAllister. Salah now. Trent. Trent's doing works here in this midfield. Doing great. Canate. And yeah, to be honest, I just, just press some quick pick for my team. And they put Trent there. That's dealt with it. But you know, it makes perfect sense. Right, Mo Salah. McAllister. Passes back to Mo Salah. Will he shoot from range? No, he'll dribble it in. And what a shot by Mo Salah to make it 3 0. Get in there. Get in there. It's a nice goal that was by Mohamed Salah. Okay, can I change this to like Premier League now? Let's test the moment. Oh, oh hell, I forgot to do it. Right, Moscatera, McAllister. Passes to Salah, who's in the box. Oh, he's been fouled. That is a penalty. Penalty. Get in there. Mo Salah. He's on the ball. To take the penalty. Score the second goal of the game. Come on! Get in there. What a penalty that was. Sends it left. Keeper just couldn't get it. Four nil. There you go. Oh, 
Oh my god. Ugh. I think they'll be okay. It's only a bit of traffic on them roads. Won't be too late. Right then. I'm going to take Wharton off. A bit tired. Curtis Jones, he had a decent pre-season, he did. So we'll see what he can do. And we're winning 4-0 anyway, so it doesn't matter. Too bad. So then I'm going to start the second off, and I'm going to try to put half of my clothes on. Alright, let's see. Corner by Southampton. I don't know if you can see me. Right. I'm half ready for work now. <laughs> okay. Curtis Jones. To McAllister. Passes to Sabozlai. He's going to make a run down the left. He'll try to find a cross, he will. Osherman scores, it's 5-0. What a nice run that was by Sabozlai. What a pass to find Osherman. He will send it in for a 5-0 lead. That was a nice goal, that was. Just that pass makes it nice. Incredible. What a shot as well. Shots are harder than you'd think. Okay, free kick now for Moscatera. To Trent now. Curtis Jones. Who will take a shot and what a shot it is. Curtis Jones. He's, he's starting next game, I can tell you that now. What a goal that was. He's only been on the pitch for seven minutes and he's already scored. Brilliant. What a way to impress your new manager, eh? With a goal like that. To put your 6-0 up against Southampton. I'm telling you now. Winning the league. We are winning the league. Mendes. Okay. Intercepted by McAllister. Sir Bosley. On the edge of the box. He will take a shot and it's blocked by the keeper. And he goes out for a corner. Okay, Robertson in the hands of the keeper there. Nice, easy save for him. I was just going to have to hope he doesn't mess it up. There we are. Finally, we got it on there. I've not even got it in the right way around as well. Max Sass needs to be there. And then later scores on this side. Oh, it's a complete disaster. Right, let's make some subs. I'm going to bring Canate off because he's he looks like he's got an injury there. Bring on Joe Gomez. Always nice to bring on a bit of youth. Then we'll take off McAllister as well for um, Cody Gakpo. And, and you know, we will bring off Salah and let Paz have his debut. For 20 minutes, see if he can score like Curtis Jones. Yeah, because so far, I think um, all of our players have done very well. Just can't pick one who's a standout. I'd say Mo Salah's been a standout. Oshiman's been a standout as well. Trent as well. Sabozai, he's been great. All four of them are up there. And for that free kick, just give it to him right now. Man out of match performance. Dominic Sabozai with an excellent free kick to make it 7 0. That's incredible. Wow, what a free kick that was. That's definitely one. One for the highlight reel. Yeah, yeah but he's been an absolute standout this game, Sabozlai. He's always he's been in play every goal, nearly. But though, let's not have them scoring. Oh no. Oh, he's hit the crossbar, but it was offside anyway. 
he went too early. Yeah, looking at the other games, there ain't really any shocks other than Man City losing to Arsenal. Oh, Everton are beating Tottenham as well. But yeah, in our game, it's 7-0. And what a win that was. We did blow them away. We, we put them in a cannon, we shot them out. We didn't quite... <laughs> Yeah, Moscatez, he's had a good debut as well. Sabozai, man of the match. Yeah, completely agree with that. One goal, one assist. He was involved in everything. So then, that's how this, this uh, episode goes. Don't have time to record a second game or else I would. But, you know, this episode's been alright anyway. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.